Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Mike Tyson has people scratching their heads after the boxing legend suggested homeless people are kidnapped off the streets and hunted by rich people. The bizarre theory came while Tyson was speaking to Joe Rogan on the latter's podcast, Radar Has Learned, in an outrageous theory that sounds like it came straight from the plot of a story or movie. The 55-year-old former boxer floated the idea while appearing on Friday's episode of the Joe Rogan Experience. While he and the podcast hosts were chatting it up and smoking weed, Whatever you think a human did to another human being, it happened. Whatever it is, it happened, Tyson says, starting off the conversation that will lead to an interesting, albeit debate, debatable back and forth between him and Rogan. Yeah, and sometimes there's sometimes these special camps and stuff, it happens. The former boxer continues, these people own these thousands of acres and nothing grows on them, might want to hunt a mother effer but the idea doesn't end there because then Tyson continues and gives a specific breakdown of the outlandish theory what goes on and how exactly these rich elite people get away with hunting homeless people for sport this is what happens they take these homeless people off the streets put put them in there, take them to one of those special hospitals. He says they take them from the hospital, all drugged up, take them to these large estates, property, let's hunt, run. They want to challenge reasonability. Tyson concludes after comparing hunting humans to hunting foxes. Allegedly one of the few animals to backtrack while being hunted by predators. After floating his bizarre theory with Rogan, the two then moved on to a number of other topics, including Tyson's inspiration to return to boxing in 2021 after tripping on the psychedelic drug DMT. Tyson's affinity for owning pet tigers and even the boxer's recent venture into the weed business with his new cannabis brand Tyson 2.0. Cannabis has always played an important role in my life. The heavyweight boxing champion shared. Cannabis has changed me for the good both mentally and physically and I want to share that gift with others who are also seeking relief. As Radar reported, Tyson's conversation with Rogan on Friday came less than one month after a man pulled a gun on the boxer while attending a comedy show in Hollywood, California. But instead of reacting, Tyson reportedly sat there calmly while the gunman put the weapon down and apologized for pulling out the gun in the first place. Moments later, Tyson gets up and hugs the man who could have shot him just seconds earlier. The gunman reportedly left the comedy venue shortly after and no one was hurt. Man. So. Let me see. Also from Mike Tyson, um Mike Tyson is um Mike Tyson is ready to accept a fight with Jake Paul and predicted it could make 80 million dollars. The heavyweight legend and YouTuber star have been linked with a mega bout in the past. Now Tyson's 55 revealed he would agree to fight Paul, who's 25, and urged the American celebrity to come to terms. He said on his podcast, hell yeah, I'd do it, only to break the record. Jake Paul believe it is not as more profitable it's it not as more profitable than the champs. This guy probably brings about eighty million dollars people do to people to the table let's do it jakey god wouldn't god wouldn't that be cool tyson in november 2020 came out of retirement for a sensational exhibition fight against roy jones jr 53 which ended in a draw 
Paul, who has beat an online rival and Esson Gibb on his debut, knocked out ex-NBA player Nate Robinson, 37, on the undercard. He has since beat and retired UFC welterweight Ben Ashcren, 37, and Tyron Woodley, 39, twice on points and then knockout. The multi-millionaire former prankster is set to return in August and previously said he would love to face Tyson. But the reformed baddest man on the planet fears Paul will be in jail before they ever fight. Tyson said, I would worry about him getting in trouble before the, fist, before the fight happened. I tell him, hey man, you're going to go for jail for real. Chill out. This dude's crazy. He would be throwing stuff at people, bottles and stuff. So... Those are just some things about um, Mike Tyson that's going down in the news. Now, Mike Tyson, um, let's talk about what he first said about the rich taking the poor out or people who's drugged up and using them for target practice or things like that. I, 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 um, I believe it. I believe they do that. And I believe in my heart of hearts, you know, this isn't reported because it's the rich. The rich, to me, do a lot of dirt behind closed doors that's not reported. They only report what they want to report. Or if somebody who's rich did something that was against the norm or against the grain, then yeah. I can see this happening. Now, people are talking about Conspiracy theory. There's no such thing as a conspiracy theorist. Okay? Okay? So, people have got to stop going for the banana in the tailpipe. Conspiracy theory or conspiracy theorists to try to, to try to basically debunk people, which is not debunking to try to deem people crazy or not knowing what they're talking about when people do know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point. And I believe this all happens for real. And Mike would know what it is. You know, the rich does a lot of stuff that people don't question. People don't even look into. Now, to Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, I mean, it's just another thing. But Jake Paul, you got to give him credit. The guy knows how to market himself. This is something these boxers don't know how to do. You know, they don't have the personality that this man has. And I give him a lot of props because, hey, whether you like him or don't like him, the guy knows how to bring people to watch him fight, you know. And I think this would be good for him, you know, go against Tyson. I think this will make a lot of money. And shout out to Tyson, man, for, for finding another alternative, you know, to calm his anger down, to calm himself down, you know. Because people, you know, we, you know, to everybody's um dismay and everything, you know what I'm saying? It does some things like what it does is it basically calms you down. It kind of keeps your, your head clear, keeps your head going at the right, you know, right direction. Because there's some people who are crazy as hell. Like without it, they need it to calm down or they need it to function. Because if they don't, they'll be on a killing spree. You know, and, and some people like to use that more than they like to use like the pills and everything. So that's the thing, you know, that's the thing people got to understand. Yeah, I understand, you know, about the, the rich stuff. People aren't going to believe that. I believe it because I believe the rich does other illegal stuff like, you know, sacrificing people they love or sacrificing lower level people for a higher gain and I believe that they take poor people and they use them for firing range or target practice or use them for experiments. Like, look at a lot of the missing black kids out there. The missing black kids out there who are kidnapped who are poor. Because us as black men and women, we have something that they need, which is 
great organs, as well as we have, you know, the power of, you know, having melanin in us. You know, whether you light skinned or, or dark skinned, you're protected by melanin. And that's something that they don't like. You know, and I think a lot of people ought to listen to what Mike is saying instead of just like pushing it off as it's crazy. Of course, they're going to do that, you know, because they don't want you to know the truth. They want you to still be hooked up to the machine so they can keep on making all these jokes in your face and doing all of this stuff in your face to make you feel dumb, you know. But I agree with Tyson, man. I believe what he's saying. Um, shout out to Tyson, man, for, you know, not getting shot that night, you know, due to the grace of God that, that he made it. You know, anything could have happened. So, you know how it goes, man. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this. Hit that notification bell to select all. So you guys can uh, receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, just go to the description box. Hit that link, you know. And you guys can donate, excuse me, to the Cash App. And if you guys, um, you know, like I said, if you guys, um, you know, if you guys um, have, a, if you guys come when there's a live video or premiere video, you guys, you know, y'all guys can super chat now. You know, we can super chat. You know, let's keep the page growing. You know, um, I can't wait for that Tyson fight with um, Jake Paul. I think that will be good. So, um, thank you guys, man. You guys have a blessed day. We out. Deezy.